says he wants Canelo Alvarez after Terrence Crawford. That would be his natural weight. What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Cardinal Red, Cardinal Red Sports. Let's talk about it. All right, so Earl the Truth Spence Jr. recently gave an interview. He spoke about his intentions after the Terrence Bud Crawford fight, and he said that he would love to fight Canelo Alvarez next. I just want to get my two cents on that. Is he capping? Or is he being real? All right, so how likely is that fight to actually happen? You know, of course, first of all, you need to get past Terrence Bud Crawford. Terrence is not a slouch fighter in any way. You know, Earl Spence naturally bigger, should be naturally stronger, but he has to slim down quite a bit to make 147. So a lot of people feel like it's a 50-50 fight. I'm not sure if it's a 50-50 fight. It's close to that, but... I definitely feel like Earl Spence is going to win. So, you know, when it comes to the Terrence Crawford fight, as long as he gets through that, does what he's supposed to do, he can move on and potentially face up with Canelo Alvarez. Now, I don't know how he walks right past uh, Charlo at 154. Perhaps because he did say that he feels more comfortable making 160 pounds rather than 154 pounds because that's only about five or six pounds from where he's fighting at already so if he's walking around around 170 you know 175 it wouldn't be much for him to drop you know the five or six pounds to make 165 or 168 you know somewhere around there so yeah i guess he would be more comfortable fighting at that weight but i think there's a big bag of money out there you know probably just as big as the canelo fight if he was to fight charlo and I know a lot of people don't feel like that because a lot of people feel like Charlo isn't popular. Me, you know, being one, I don't see why he's in more popular than he is. But, you know, it is what it is. Spence versus Charlo, I know a lot of people say, well, they're stable mates. They're never going to fight each other. People do what makes sense. People say Devin Haney and Shakur Stevens will never fight, but they've been calling each other out here recently. <laughs> got to do what makes sense especially whoever's a champion and i think it would be dangerous you know just like it was dangerous for kale brook to move up and try to fight canelo i think it would be dangerous for earl to try to move up too quickly you know there is a such thing as moving up too quickly you might not be able to deal with the punches and the punching power at that high of a weight class to where it wasn't that much for you to deal with at 147 you know, move up to 154, that's, that's not as big of a uh, dramatic step as 160. You know, test the water out at 154, see how you like it. Get a good bag of money. Not only that, I think it's a risk, you know, to fight Charlo, because if you lose, then what, you know, but if you win, oh boy, you know, sky's the limit. You become, you know, one of the legendary fighters in the sport of boxing, because he would have went up, conquered another did division you know became the top dog over there and you could still go fight canelo you could actually fight canelo at a catch weight of 158 or 160 you know if you wanted to but if he feels like he can make 165 or 168 more comfortably than than making 147 or 154 I think there's a real possibility for that fight. You know, Canelo needs a, another good name on his resume. And Earl Spence could really use a name like Canelo on his resume for people that say his resume is kind of padded or whatever. Do I think that he realistically goes after Canelo? Do I think they can even make that fight? Because Canelo deals with Oscar and, you know, it'd be, a, it'd be a lot to make that fight. Even though they just did the Ryan Garcia fight with Oscar. I think it's a little more complicated. Who's going to be the A-side in that fight? Who's going to be the B-side? Well, if Earl wins versus Terrence Crawford, he would have been undisputed. He'd still be undefeated. Canelo's no longer undefeated. Do you, even though Canelo, I think, sells more pay-per-views and Canelo has more fans, do you make Canelo the A-side in that fight or do you make Earl Spence the A-side in that fight because he's undefeated and he'll be coming off the undisputed situation? 
that's where the problem is going to come in. And I think <laughs> that's the same problem that's going to come in when it comes to Devin Haney and Tank is they're going to have a huge argument about the A side and the B side, and it's just going to drag out forever. So I think what would be way more realistic is the Charlo fight because even though Earl would be coming off of a undisputed situation, he would have had to beat Terrence Crawford. He's going to have to be the B side in that Charlo fight because he won't be the champion. You know, he, even though he, it would be easier to make because he would automatically be the B side in that fight. There, there would be no argument for Earl to make. But since there would be no belts, I don't think on the line or. I, Canelo might hold one belt at 168. I'm not sure. I don't follow Canelo that closely anymore. But even if it was one belt on the line, I'm not sure if Canelo could, you know, I'm not sure if Earl could still argue Canelo down with the A-side, B-side situation. Or maybe there would be a some type of interim belt or something on the line. I don't know. But I definitely think that they would have an A-side, B-side argument. Charlo would most likely just be the A-side. Earl wouldn't be, you know, he wouldn't have a real argument for Charlo when it comes to A-side, B-side. You know, I think both fights could be made. I think the Charlo fight is easier made because it's an in-house fight. Even though I hate in-house fights, but, you know, it's a big fight. It's an in-house fight. It's a money-making fight. It's a title fight. All the intangibles are there. Why would you skip over Charlo at 154? and go after Canelo at an even higher weight of 168. And back to my point of Kell Brook, you know, Kell Brook did that and got knocked the F out because he tried to do too much. And, you know, I would hate to see that for Earl, man. I'd hate to see Earl go up and wait and get knocked out and then, you know, have to tuck tail and come back down to 147. I try to go down to 154 and still try to fight Charlo, even though you just got knocked out. You know, I'd hate that for Earl, but... If he tries to bite off more than he can chew, that's exactly what may happen to him. You know, he needs to go slow with this. Don't just jump right into the lion's den, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about all that down in the comment section below. That like button, fun man. Sure, sure, sure. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Holler at me on all social media platforms. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter. More than likely to get a response on the tubes. So holler at me over there. If you like the collabo, feel free to hit my Gmail. It is flockofcards at gmail dot and we are man. Illuminati want your mind, soul, and your body. You want a red bone, hottie, and a Maserati. Is that a fair trade? I was in third grade, writing down mean. Now I'm as clean as your maid. Get these bitches wet, they some mermaids Take a survey, they all prefer K E, Y, Z, still in the money I'm a Louisville legend and I'm still in my 20s Super cool, wind chill in the 20s But I still pack heat, I can make it feel sunny So you can rock a white beater when I'm mobbing through But be safe and bring your coat and your toboggan too I'm out of here From, nigga. I would clown your ass, but you can't get smart with a dumb nigga. Dumb nigga. I would shank your ass, but you can't knife fight with a gun nigga. If Lewis Keys did it, it's a damn banger. Tape on the 38 like a jam banger. To this rap shit, I ain't no damn stranger. They wanna throw me off the boat, but I'm the damn anchor. And my team ride clean Looking like tomato juice in my rising My eyeballs bloodshot to red All eyes on Lewis Keys, no pocket red I'm out of here 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 I'm out of here
voices in my head, voices, voices in my head. They say keys, get that money, get that paper, get that bread. Don't be worrying about the cops, don't be worrying about the feds, don't be worrying about your wifey and the shit that she done said. That's three voices, one grind, dime three. How the hell one nigga gonna outshine me? I said that's three voices, one grind, time three. How the fuck one nigga gonna outshine key? I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm on my mind. I'm on my mind. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm on my mind. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm on my mind. I'm out of here. I'm on my mind.